Hello everyone, Junior Dev here. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be the part one, where we're gonna set up ourselves a initial project for e-commerce site that we're gonna be building using the Redux Toolkit. So our main focus is practicing Redux Toolkit. As you can see, I already set up our application. So I already installed the Redux and created the React app app. So uh, I want to show you how I did it. You are going to go to the Redux official page and on the installation section, you're gonna copy this, this, uh, and you're just gonna paste it. My application already built. You just wanna provide a different name. I provide it like Redux store. And after that is done, I start it. And this is how our application is looking right now. We got some counter that we can increase and decrease. Okay, but we're gonna get rid of unnecessary files because we don't need them right now. I want to, to show you what you can do with the Redux. So here in the features, in the counter folder, we got some counters and some counter slices that we are storing in our global store. That's like a wrapper uh, around our application from which can we uh, pull that properties with use selector as you can see here and dispatch them through other components and at the beginning you also need to provide a store like here globally and yeah that uh, that's that's uh, done by default when we are using this command our provider store is set up so let's get rid of unnecessary files that we don't we want to gonna uh, use. Let's delete some of them and let's start by adding properties that we need. So let's delete this. App test we don't need as well. Inside the logo, okay, logo we don't need. Let's delete it as well. Let's delete the whole counter section and let's remove it from here. We don't need this. So let's remove the counter. And what else? Into app.js, we don't need this header. We don't need the logo and the counter. CSS, we're gonna put like this. Margin of zero, padding of zero, box sizing, border box. And let's see what else we got. Okay, everything is done. Let's try to add some text to FGS. Maybe hello all. And let's check. Okay, it's displaying. So first thing, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by installing ourselves a Tailwind CSS. So let's go to the Tailwind CSS framework guides, pick a create React app and just provide these two lines of code. So terminal, gonna go to the new terminal, gonna redux store on my bed store and we're gonna delete this and just start it. After that install we're gonna get ourselves a tailwind configuration file and later we need to provide those into the index CSS. So let's get rid of this, provide that, tailwind is done. And let's try by pasting this simple command here, simple h1, tag, refresh it, nothing, we need to restart it, npm start. Okay, after that is done, let's see, still we are getting nothing. Let's go back to the Tailwind, copy this plugin, and everything is working. After that, let's go to Material Tailwind, again pick installation, go to Create React App and using the npm 
let's copy this command go back provide it here install it after that is done we will need to copy the configuration file and provide it here okay that's done let's remove this add that okay after that is done let's add our phones that we're gonna be using let's add inter let's go down there and let's select from 400 to 700 go to the import and simply import it in our global css file in that case is this index in our case after that is done we will go to the tailwind again and search fonts and as you can see here we can add custom fonts into the fonts family so let's copy this and i mean from here let's add something like this to the extent is it extent no it's just teams okay if i'm right theme font family oh if we, if we got the default font we'll need to provide it in extent so let's get back provide it here we don't want this we just want the name it's gonna be inter and after that we're gonna provide inter here this be inter inter and later we're gonna be using that font maybe we can add sans serif here as well okay that's for our fonts we will need to restart it again let's get rid of this see if everything is okay or we got any other error okay everything is okay the that is done what's left to do let's install the react router so let's go back to our let's install the react router and redux is done tailwind is done fonts done material tailwind done router done and this is it let's go to our package json we installed some dependencies and yeah this is it for this video see you in the another one where we're gonna be start uh, where we're gonna be building our components so we're gonna start building our components and later we're gonna add some slices for the redux okay see everyone next time bye